Hello my darlings, let's talk about the last 5 K-beauty products that I have been using. This is a series that I have done inspired by my love of K-beauty, particularly the section that lies between serums, toners, ampules, I like to call them watery skincare, that is really my jam. And in K-beauty, I get to play in this wonderful playground. I particularly love playing in this playground simply because my skin absolutely thrives when it is well hydrated. When the skin is all juicy juicy, she plays right, she plays happy and I absolutely love that for me. I have done quite a few videos such as this one. They are all put in a playlist which I will link down below. But before we get into today's video, I would love to let you know who I am, just in case you don't know. My name is Ijama. I'm a beauty lover, a skincare influencer, a pro makeup artist, and a woman of a certain age. And I feel like all that truly inspires everything that I do on my channel. Let me start with a product that I had quite a lot of hope for, but fell a little bit flat for me. This is the Bonajour Propolis Energy Toner. Now, I bought this because I absolutely and positively fell in love with the water, the green tea water bomb toner from Benajor. Fell in love with that, cannot wait to repurchase it, but that's what influenced me to buy this. Because when I meet a brand that gives me a really good first impression, I like to see what else the brand has to offer. And that's how I got here. And unfortunately, this fell really flat for me. Really, really flat for me. Propolis is an ingredient that shines on my skin. And I wanted this to be a very soothing and healing and hydrating toner. But it just felt flat. I never felt it shining on my skin. I never feel, felt like it was soothing my skin. I didn't feel deep hydration. It's not a bad toner. It's just very middle of the road. And because when it comes to toners in K-Beauty, they do hydrating toners so well that if you've met a great one, you've probably met many of them. It's so hard for them to stand out consistently. Like, the, am I making sense? I think I'm making sense, yeah. This has not stood out to me. I think maybe if you have drier skin than me, I have combination skin, I can be oily in my T-zone, normal everybody everywhere else, and sometimes get dehydrated if I misbehave, which is very rare. Despite it not being a standout product for me, the ingredients are fabulous, they're very supportive to the skin health. We have propolis in this at a very high percentage, it's 80%. There's glycerin, there are quite a few extracts, some of them being aloe and broccoli. There's also quite a few derivatives of hyaluronic acid. Do I recommend this? Not as quickly as I would recommend the green tea water bomb toner. That one had me, it just, oh, that was good. I cannot wait to repurchase that and bring that back into my routine. This, it's even hard for me to grade it. It didn't offend me, it just fell really flat. This is a first for this series. This is a serum. I purchased it particularly because I love the size. It's 105 ml. When it comes to serums, like I'm a proper skincare girly. I use my skincare, I'm not stingy with it. I take it all the way down to my chest. I use it on my hands. I sometimes will use it on my body. So the 30 ml serums don't really do it for me. So the size of this really caught my attention. This is the Gala Serum from Zymogen. Zymogen? We'll go with Zymogen. Yeah? No, let's go with Zymogen because that's a Y. Anyway, let's just call it the Gala Serum. Now the full name of this serum is the Gala Serum for poured oily skin. And that also influenced me to purchase this. I have already mentioned my skin type. My pores can get a little bit disrespectful if I'm not mindful of them. And also sometimes they can play up during my monthly cycle. So I knew I had the perfect skin type to play with this. I feel like I've used about 60% of this serum. So I do have a good idea of what it's doing for the skin. In my humble opinion, I think it's the kind of serum that you put in a very supportive routine. 
a routine that already supports your pores like you have salicylic acid going on you have niacinamide going on you have a great cleansing routine this works better if it's sandwiched in the middle of a really effective routine will it stand out if you don't have these other things i don't think so i really don't think so now the ingredient deck of this serum is very extract heavy and in saying that if you have sensitive skin i implore you to do a little bit of research go on yes style they have the full ingredient deck there do a bit of research before you repurchase this sensitive skin types don't usually like extracts they have to be quite mindful about that and when i first put this in my routine i felt a bit tingly on the skin like a really cooling sensation and i really didn't like that i don't like when my skincare that does not have actives reacts on my skin i really don't like that you have to be a true active you have to be an exfoliant you have to be a retinol for me to tolerate you doing funny things on my skin but in the second week of using this that faded away and i can say that it doesn't really have a tingly feeling on my skin i do like it i have been using it in my morning and my evening routine i do see myself repurchasing it i feel like this is also one of those products you need to be on bottle number two to feel like oh are you changing my life or are you just wasting my beauty coins once again i am not going to review this like i'm not going to give it a star rating like i've been doing in my other videos i just feel like it's something you have to try i've been happy with it i feel like my pores have been behaving but as i said i have enough i have a fantastic routine and this sits nicely in the middle of all that and i don't think it would have stood out if i didn't have my really great routine now the next three products i have are all essences i struggle a little bit with essences i'm not quite sure i understand this idea of essences making our skincare work a little bit better i'm not dismissing it i'm still thinking about it i'm still seeing what that's all about but let's just talk about these three I'll first get into the one that I have talked about quite a bit in my skincare videos this year and this is the Swanee Coco Biotherapy Fast Essence. Really nice. It felt very plumping to the skin, very juicy. The packaging drew me in, very swanky. In fact, I have finished this bottle. I don't know if I would repurchase this, but it was a fantastic introduction to the star ingredient. The star ingredient in this is Bifida Ferment, which is a prebiotic ferment which helps with skin damage and sensitized skin and supports the skin barrier. And with saying that, this is not a product that stood out to me simply because I am really good about my moisture barrier. I am extremely mindful about exfoliating. I'm heavily invested in hydrating my skin. I moisturize exceptionally well every day, morning and evening. And I really feel like my skin is just in tip-top condition when it comes to my moisture barrier. But I'm not mad that I met the product. And as I said, it was a great way to meet that ingredient. That particular ingredient, the Bifida Ferment, is the star ingredient in the Estee Lauder Night Serum, the really popular one. So it, it's given me a little bit of groundwork. It's given me a little bit of context when it comes to that ingredient. Do I recommend it? Yes. I liked that simplicity. I like when K-Beauty does that. It just takes a product. I mean, it takes an ingredient and makes a product out of it. So it allows you to focus on that ingredient and see and allows you to see whether that ingredient really shines on your skin. Just like the other products, I'm not going to rate this. I did like it, I did enjoy it. I'm not in a rush to repurchase it, but I recommend it. Now let's move on to the essence that is somewhat similar to the Swanee Coco one, but this ingredient deck has a lot more ingredients than the Swanee Coco one. This is a Time Revolution First Essence Five Times from Misha. This is a cult classic product. Many people use this and love this. I know I have a mini size, but don't judge me. I did use another one of this size so this is not my first rodeo this is my second one I just didn't feel the need to buy a big bottle I just this was enough I, 
I usually know by about 50 ml of a product whether it's working for me or not now I did feel like I enjoyed this a little bit more than the Swanee cocoa even though this also has the bifida ferment as a star ingredient and I think I enjoyed this a little bit more because the ingredient deck has a lot more to offer there's niacinamide in this there's glycerin there's extracts there's lactic acid and there's also ceramides I did like the texture a little bit more on my skin the niacinamide strangely enough did not break me out because I'm one of those people I'm sensitive to niacinamide it can not break me out I enjoyed this enough to buy a full size of it it's on its way to me I bought one of those gift packs that comes with a full size of this moisturizer the ampule so that will really give me enough time to see whether the niacinamide in this formula will break me out but so far it hasn't now did it change my skincare life to be honest i bought it because of the texture i really liked the way it felt on my skin it does feel deeply hydrating we'll see how i feel at the end of that gift set maybe i'll leave a pinned comment down below and just like all the other products i have talked about i'm not going to rate this if anything i suggest reading a lot of the reviews on this product on yes style though it has cult classic status many people love it there are quite a few people who had an adverse reaction to this it could be the niacinamide just like me um once again not everything is for everyone but so far I would recommend it I think it's worth trying it's it's very hydrating and there's something very comforting about it on the skin there are quite a few people who also said this about this product it's one of those products that when it's out of your routine that's when you miss it now we end this video with the essence that I thought did a thing I thought it really did a thing and I think it's kind of solidifying my idea about essences when it comes to essences i want them to not just hydrate my skin i want them to be extremely supportive when they have just one ingredient i don't think that's going to be enough for me i want them to have a little bit more you know and if they don't have more let that ingredient that is there really do the thing for me i'll explain a little bit better when we get into this this is the super moist essence water from skin snick snick yeah i i'm not quite sure how we are going to say that but we're going to call it the super moist essence water for now really fantastic i really liked this i liked the texture i liked how it felt on the skin very hydrating and i particularly loved that it had ceramides as i said my moisture barrier she is in tip-top condition because i love her so much and ceramides is such a fantastic ingredient if you really want to support your moisture barrier and i think that's why i really liked this it has a very well-rounded ingredient deck that's not too fussy there's glycerin in this coconut oil derivatives centella squalene oil meadowform oil ceramides and hyaluronic acid and i think also that inclusion of oil in this is what also makes me like it i'm one of those ones i really like oils and butters in my skin it really helps my skin thrive it just that oil also really helped this have such a beautiful and soft texture on the skin this for me is an easy repurchase it's an easy recommendation i really liked it i'm going to give it a solid four out of five out of everything i've talked about this one i can confidently give a rating i really liked this i've also used this all over my body underneath a body butter or a body moisturizer very nice very very nice definitely see myself repurchasing that really enjoying that and that's that these are the last 5k beauty products that i have tried in my recent past as per usual down in the description box i'm going to link everything that i have talked about i'm also going to list my k beauty playlist so you can do yourself a little bit of happy shopping i'm also going to be taking a break from this series i've decided that this is going to be the last video that i do for quite a while i don't know how long whether i'll come back to it who knows such is life but for now I'm going to take a break i had a little bit of a ping moment i i'm in this space where i feel like i want to consume 
skincare just for myself and not for my channel at the end of the day quite a lot of the skincare that comes into my life i do think about reviewing it you know i don't just buy it for myself but i feel like being a little bit selfish and just buying skincare for myself <laughs> if that makes sense my beauty rituals are so important to me and there's something about secrecy and ritual right right and with that being said i want to thank you so much for being here my name is ijama and I'll see you soon.